What's going on? Zach Shirt coming at you today in Raid Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video, guys. How y'all doing? You ready for the holidays? I, I'm not. I'm not at all. But uh, either way, a uh, quick update. I told you guys a month or two ago that the movie The Alpinist really, really strongly uh, impacted me. It really resonated. It still does today. And it just came out on Netflix as well. So definitely check out The Alpinist. The protagonist especially really just appreciated his worldview. And uh, like I said, it kind of kind of struck a chord with me. Also, last night, I took the kid to see uh, Encanto. And in the way of Disney movies go, man, that one really, uh, really surprised me. I really love the uh, Lin Manuel Miranda, excuse me, uh, actually, you know, wrote all the songs and stuff for it as well. And you can tell, man, it has a really, uh, it's just really good, really well done. So two movie recommendations, one, uh, you know, for, I guess, more mature audiences and one uh, for kids out there. But either way, kind of a tearjerker at the end, too. So uh, getting to the point of the video, Skim Foy, Skim Foes, excuse me, the consumed this dude is very, very interesting, right? So let's go ahead and go over his kit. Quite a few of you guys, I see you in the comments, quite a few of you guys asking for a guide on Skimphos. So here we go. If you have any other champions at all, any epic in the game, any rare in the game, uh, I think I pretty much have everybody, so I'm happy to build out anybody and do a guide on them, especially if enough of you request, or if you see somebody else in the comments requesting a certain champion, give a thumbs up. That way I know that more people agree with them. So Growing Hunger is a one attacks one enemy two times the first hit has a 45 percent chance of placing decreased speed for two turns the second hit has a 45 percent chance of decreasing the target's turn meter by 10 percent so a very very good a1 already out the gate 45 percent chance is really solid decreased speed two turns and the turn meter uh on both hits so uh very or the turn meter on the second hit but you're doing something on both hits so very good a1 uh multipliers on his a1 are 1.85 so not super hard hitting but there's two hits again so overall not bad on the A2, Curse Fear. Now, this is an AoE attack on a three-turn cooldown when booked. You should really book this champion. Has 100% chance of placing a decreased attack for two turns. After attacking, transfers all debuffs except for the crowd control debuffs. Stun, freeze, sleep, fear, true fear, provoke, petrification. From all allies to this champion. So he's sucking up all the debuffs and he's taking them all on himself. We'll see this in action in just a minute. On his A3, Clutch of the Woe. On his A3, Clutch of the Woe. No offense, but how? I do know how to read, though. Transfers all debuffs from this champion to a target enemy. Then, if the attack, uh, then attacks the target, excuse me, steals 100% the target's turn meter if the attack is critical. So as long as we're building with 100% uh, crit rate, I mean, he is void affinity, so we don't have to worry about negative affinity matchups with this champion. And here's the coolest thing about the, uh, the A3. It's a 5.6 multiplier. So you can basically one-shot most anybody in the arena, steal all of their turn meter, get an extra turn, and come in with a hard-hitting A2, and hopefully kill everybody again. If you don't kill them, well, at the very least, you're sucking up everybody's debuffs, and you are placing the decreased attack on all of them. So, very, very cool, even for the arena on this champion. Uh, very, very cool overall. How many times is this guy gonna say he's very, very cool? I don't know. So Aura, increased ally attack and Doom Tower battles by 30%. Not bad for Doom Tower. Uh, Mastery's on this champion. Why? Why you want to leave me? I played it safe. I just went down and got uh, War Master on his A1. Uh, if it was a three-time hitter, we'd go Giant Slayer, but War Master does just fine. Now, this is kind of a hybrid build for Masteries, guys. If you're just going to use him for the arena, which, oddly enough, like I shouldn't say oddly, but I, I just, going into building this champion, I didn't think he was going to be an arena beast. But now, after the fact, I kind of just think I should have maybe just focused on the arena and built him in Savage with Helm Smasher. So you guys can make the decision. Either way, you can go Helm Smasher if you're going to be using him for PvP content as we'll kind of illustrate in today's video. With Helm Smasher and Savage Artifact sets, he's going to be way more effective in PvP than you're, what you're about to see in today's video. Again, this is for PvE as well. Uh, for that reason, we went down Support Tree. We grab a Sniper. That's going to take those A1 uh, debuff to 50% chance from 45 on the decreased speed. And we have Master Hexer as well. Uh, increase the duration of any debuff cast by this champion. Again, that does apply to his decreased attack and his decreased speed so really really solid uh kit again showed you his masteries in terms of the build on this champion again it's pretty hybrid here i i chose to prioritize speed on this champion it doesn't have to be this fast 235 is pushing it a little bit 
You can get by with a 180, 190, depends if you want to speed tune with him. But I figure if we build him fast, he's going to be going more often, going to be applying and keeping that decrease attack applied uh, to the enemy team. And he's going to be soaking up all those debuffs more often and transferring them onto the opponent more often and stealing turn meter 100% more often as well. So I wanted to make him fast. 100% crit rate is mandatory on this champion. And then you do need accuracy for his decrease attack, his A1 debuffs, his turn meter uh, on A1 as well, and uh, in transferring all those debuffs for, uh, to a target enemy, okay? Uh, other than that, you know, his base HP is kind of low. His base defense isn't that bad. So we have 30K uh, in around 2100 on the HP and the defense. I guess that's about it, guys. Tried to give him as much crit damage as I could as well, just to show him off in the arena. We have crit damage on the gauntlets. We have attack percentage on the chest. And then we have speed on the boots. We have crit damage on the amulet. We have accuracy on the banner. And we have attack on the ring. Listen, if this dude is dying, if you're using him as more of a, you know, trying to get your all out of those debuff swaps and all that stuff that he's doing uh just build him for, for speed still make sure he has a 100 crit rate but you can add hp percentage or defense percentage on those gauntlets if you want more survivability from this champion so let's go ahead and show him off here guys let's start you complete me i love you no i don't want the dungeon pack plarium although that is kind of Oh, uh, that's a lot of Lego books, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bite, man. I'm not gonna bite. I'm running out of Legos to book in freaking Clan vs. Clan, man. So I'm here like in early low gold four, so nothing to write home about. But let's go ahead and take a look at what this champion can do. Now I have him on this team specifically because we are going to try to kind of get double bang for our bucks. We're gonna have Kaimar come in, CC the enemy team with his A2. Basically, we could use Cornelia in the same way. Basically, someone's going to put them to sleep or stun the enemy team, right? We could even use Ninja's A3. We just want to CC the enemy team. So here we go. I mean, we're going against War Maiden here, so we're really going nice and easy. So we're going to start out with his A3. So what I'm looking at here, instead of killing Arbiter as you normally might do in this situation, I want to steal all the turn meter as well. So I'm going to come in here, and because she's not asleep, I'm going to target War Maiden. Why me? So I'm going to kill her 106k. And then you can see already full turn meter because the attack was critical. So I'm going to come in here. I don't want to wake up Ninja. Not without me. Then I can come back. It's already his turn again. I come back around and boom. Not too bad, huh? Not too shabby. Granted, that was a pretty easy team. Let's step it up a little bit. Let's get incrementally more difficult here inside the arena. So again, this squad, I'm going to do the same thing, rinse and repeat. So the team is a speed booster, Arbiter, a CC champion, Kaimar, and then we have uh, Madam Ceres in here as a debuffer. So Razen Sky, uh, Scarhide here is not asleep right now. He has a full turn meter, perfect target. So we're going to go in again with the A3. You need to make sure you have enough accuracy. We're going to kill him, and again, turn meter is Phil. Ah, it's just... I'm getting way too excited. I should have A1'd into Arbiter there, but I think we'll just kill everybody. Anyway, that's his A2. His A2 is not super, super hard hitting, but still 3.85 multiplier uh, is, is not bad at all. We're hitting for what, around 60K, 70K? But if you have Helm Smasher and you have Savage Gear, I think we can get that up to around 80K, maybe even more depending on the gear that you have access to. So let's go ahead and do one more squad here. How about this beefy, girthy team here? And if we, Ursaga, uh, Duchess, and Siffy. Let's see what we can do. Now, these guys have some defense and HP, so we're going to have our work cut out for us here. So, we're going to wait to see, you know, how things play out to dictate who we're going to go uh, against first. Probably going to be Siffy here, right? So, can we one-shot Siffy with this A3 ability? Well, let's not wait anymore. Boom! Oh, 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 yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. Dude, I got to say, man, Skimfos isn't that bad, right? You've got kind of like a Crutraxa type thing going on where they have one ability that can hit really hard and kill pretty much anybody, as we've illustrated so far. And then we have the other ability. Instead of going into the, you know, four-time hitter on Crutraxa's A1, we're going into an AoE instead. And instead of granting an extra turn, we're actually stealing their turn meter, preventing them from taking a turn. Uh, so he's kind of a cool champion, man. We don't kill Ursaga and Duchess. And this one's not over yet because they got revivers on revivers on revivers here. And they actually might kill me here. 
Because the Nithui Blood Twin, he has the Nye Revival. We can't afford... Okay, we he autos into the A2. He autos into the A2 there. But he has the A3 up. Let's make sure we take it off auto. Target Siffy so she can't get a Revival. You're too late. Oh. So, we don't kill... I'm not sure if I, I missed... Dude, I'm so bad at missing... Someone got so triggered at me missing the uh, the reflex prox. <laughs> I apologize, guys. I'm looking at the camera. I'm looking at the uh, you know the the stats of the champion, and I'm not noticing. I didn't notice if there was a reflex prop, but it looked like there was. It looked like there was. My bad on that. Let's see. A one, not bad. We take her down. So now in this situation, I think we can just go on auto here. It's going to take a while, though, man. This will make this our last arena battle. You guys get the point. You guys get what this champion can do in the arena. If we can kill Ursiga here, then Siffy will revive Ursiga, and that will be good for everybody, right? So let's kill Ursiga. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Madam Saris gets the job done. So in a few rounds... <clears throat> I'm back. But it... Oh, man. My bad. I thought she was going after... Uh, I missed the, I forgot the positioning there, but I thought she was reviving uh, Ursica first. I stand corrected. So now we uh, do take care. That was the A3, I think, coming in again. Taking down Duchess. Man. I mean, it's taken a while here, but that was his A3 right there, man. Wow. That's, that's impressive. He's an impressive champion for an epic champion. Now let's see what he can do in other areas of the game here. We already see the potential in the arena. Really, really fun champion for the arena. I should have done a guide on this guy so much sooner. So let's do Fire Knight. You can use him against Fire Knight, against uh, Spider, anywhere where you could benefit from Term Meter. All right, guys, I lied to you. I lied to you. I actually want to show you Spider first, right? This is a fun team. We have Drekstar as our tank on Spider 20. We have Stimphos, Armager, Coltar, and Gear Grinder. Gear Grinder is a reviver slash healer. I kind of like Gear Grinder. I have him in a shield set as well. We have Drekstar. You can use Drekstar. You can use Contra the Cyclone. Looking for a Force Affinity tank here uh, against Spirit Affinity uh, the Spider. Uh, but this team can work with a variety of different characters in that Drekstar spot. Uh, essentially, we have Armager for turn meter, uh, manipulation, turn meter, you know, control. Uh, Coltart for the same thing with her Heartseeker ability. And then we have Skimfo stealing as well. Uh, the reason I want to start with Spider here is because it's very easy to see what we're doing, right? We're going to be on the next rotation as soon as we start settling in here. We apply the decrease speed on the A1, which is not to be forgotten in this kit, right? 50% chance with Sniper. Not bad at all. And then we have... A, you're going to see he's going to steal all these poisons away right now. Away from our tank. Away from Drekstar so he doesn't need to take the damage. We take the damage instead, which, by the way, he has that passive. I didn't even talk about his passive when he was healing himself. My bad. He's healing himself every turn by, I think, 5%. You can see 2,900 of his uh, of his max HP. So not bad at all. And you can kind of see how it works, right? He's transferring those poisons from himself, provided they have more than one turn on the cooldown. Transferring those poisons from himself back to the spider. So it's beautiful. Spider puts, or spiderlings put the poisons on our tank. We take the poisons off the tank, as you just saw. And then we apply them onto the spider. So the spider can eat the poisons that emanated, started from the spiderlings. Pretty cool champ, right? There's not a champion in the game like Skimfos to consumed. I'm not going to sit here and say he's he's S tier, God tier in the game, but he's really good, man. He's definitely one of the more underrated champions out there. I will show you a quick uh, a quick run with uh, Fire Knight before we let you go. I wish I could show you all those Doom Tower bosses as well, but I think you guys, especially after Fire Knight, you kind of get the gist. You kind of get what he's bringing to the table. And the cool thing is, since he's a uh, Void Affinity, you can really use him anywhere. You can use him in any dungeon, especially if you're lucky enough to pull him kind of in the early game here. So he's not putting out a ton. Well, actually, I stand correct. Look at the damage. Putting out the same damage as Coltart, too. So not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, Armager, 879. Gear grind. Of course, Armager going in with his uh, single target on the spider. So you can't hold that against him. Uh, Drekstar, 4.4 million, though, with those HP burns. Drekstar, such a good spider tank, man. All right, let's go in. I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier. You can use Contra the Cyclone. Same exact way if you're lucky enough to have Contra as well. She's really cool. Underrated spider tank. Underrated champion, I think, overall. Uh, Fire Knight. I'm just going to show you him on my Fire Knight 25 team. A little bit less of a free-to-play friendly team here with Lydia and Duchess, but it's faster. Uh, it'd be even faster if I had Kaimar on the team. But let's just go like this. 
and uh, see what he can do against the Fire Knight. Again, why is he good against the Fire Knight? Sure, he has decreased speed and a two-time hitter on his A1. That's great. Uh, but first and foremost, he has the turn meter decrease on his A1. And again, stealing it all on the A3 as well. Uh, so once that shield is down, a champion like Skimfost, especially if you don't have a lure or you don't have a lure and cold heart, you can run Skimfost, uh, Skimfost, excuse me, and a lure. Skimfost and cold heart, and those two champions alone, as long as you can get that shield down, maybe put Apothecary on the team, another three-time hitter on the A1. Uh, once you can get that shield down, you should be good to go, right? Uh, Raz and Skyrhide, another champion that you can use here. So the second wave taken a little longer than we'd like to because of the heart seat or the uh, karma burn, excuse me, uh, not being on cooldown. But it's not uh, not the end of the world here. So I'll come back to you guys when we get to the uh, the fire knight. All right, guys. So the fire knight. Here we go. Twelve notches on his shield. Let's see. Cold heart takes that down real quick. So Skimfos is up next. Ooh, you see that turn meter, guys? You stole the whole turn meter, went right back in again, and I think that's going to be... No. Coltar uh, used her Heartseeker as her last ability on the second wave. If she had it up right now... Oh, she does have it up. Okay, we're good. So that's it, man. It's game over. <laughs> you know, you can see it right there again. Not only are we stealing the turn meter, and this is a good final point to mention here when we talk about Skimfos. Not only are we stealing the turn meter, but because we're filling it back up again... It's also reducing the cooldown, right? Because we're almost having back-to-back -back turns, depending on how much we steal, of course. But it's really speeding him up a lot, if you get what I'm saying, right? So we're stealing all the turn meter, and then he's going pretty quickly again, and that's reducing the cooldown automatically faster than otherwise would, if you, if you get what I'm saying. If you're picking up what I'm trying to put down there. Again, decreased turn meter on his A1, the second hit of his A1. Man, really, really solid team here, right? And it's not too slow considering it is uh, level 25. Uh, okay, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Skimfos consumed another champion guide in the books. Give me some suggestions. Who do you want to see next, guys? Thank you for watching all the way till the end. And as always, take care, guys.